The timer which is used to switch on or off the street light is known as mechanical timer. The wiring of this type of mechanical timer is simple. But when you move on to programming, you will surely get confused. With the help of this video, I will explain you in detail about everything so that whenever you perform wiring, programming of this timer, you will not face any problem. So friends, let's start the video. Before moving to wiring of this CNC manufactured mechanical timer, let's discuss about some basic detail. Inside this mechanical timer, there is a dial to set the timer and this dial will continuously rotate according to time. The way in which the R needle rotates in analog clock, similarly this dial will rotate throughout in this mechanical timer. So basically what I am trying to say is, this mechanical timer works as a clock. There is some mechanism inside the timer and accordingly this contact changes. Which contact is to be changed is set according to programming. To operate this mechanical timer, there is a motor present inside. Like look in this circuit diagram closely, a motor is connected. Terminals of motor are 7 and 8. This means to operate this mechanical timer, we need to provide phase and neutral supply to 7 and 8 number terminals. For phase supply, I use this MCB and for neutral supply, I use this terminal box. To provide phase supply to this timer, I am using this piece of wire. I am taking one end of the wire and connecting with output terminal of MCB. The other end of the wire is to be connected with 7 number terminal of this mechanical timer. I connected this wire here. For providing neutral power supply to this neutral terminal of mechanical timer, I am using this piece of wire. I am connecting one end of wire with this terminal box. The other end of the wire is to be connected with neutral terminal of timer, which is present at lower side. To explain the working of this timer, I am using this lamp for connection. I will take the phase wire of this lamp and connect with NO contact of this timer. Like if you see in this circuit diagram shown, one number terminal is for NO contact. So I am taking this phase wire of the lamp and connect with NO contact of timer, which is one number terminal of timer. Similarly, this neutral wire of the lamp is to be connected with terminal box, which is connected here. Both of the neutral wires is now connected together at a single point of terminal box. After this, only one more wire left to be connected. I am taking this piece of wire and connecting one end of wire with output terminal of this MCB. The other end of wire is to be connected with common terminal. Two number terminal is common terminal, so I am connecting wire here. The wiring of this mechanical timer is now completed. Only programming part is left now. For performing programming, open this top cover of timer. You can see that the rotary dial is present at upper side. What I mean by upper side, listen. For now, if I push this dial backwards, you can see it is at lower side and all others are at upper side. If you push this to lower side, this will become off. For now, I push these three to lower side so the timer duration in this period is off. All others which are at upper side are in on condition. Conclusion is, if dial is at lower side, it will be off and if dial is at upper side, it will be on. Now if you want to set the programming of timer, what you have to do is press this switch to this side means bring switch to programming mode. So this is in programming mode now. Now we have to set time in this timer. So we will bring the time in front of pointer. Suppose time now is morning 10 o'clock, rotate this rotary switch in this way. In front of this arrow, bring the time by rotating. If 10 am is time now, then bring 10 by continuously rotating this. The time is set to 10. Here in this small dial, set the minute. For now, I am setting time as 10.30. You can see here is 10 and here is 30. Means time is programmed to 10.30. We have to set the time for switch on and switch off the load. There is a simple way for this. What you have to do is, according to the time here, you have to switch on or off the switch. If switch is in upper position, this is set to be on and if it is in lower position, it will be off. You can see the switch is in lower position means this is in off condition. Off time is 11 am. This means at 11 it will be off. At 11.30 also it will be off and at 12 also it will be off. After this, switch is in upper side means at 12, your light will going to be on. If you want the light to be off at particular time, press the switch to lower side. If you press this towards lower side, light will be in off condition. I am turning off switch completely from here. 
till 1 am i turn this off after that it will remain on till 5 am so by pushing to upper side you can do the programming for on condition and by pushing to lower side you can do programming for off condition after the programming set this switch again to auto position after selecting this turn on the mcb you can see lamp is off because the time is not completed to turn on the light for now i am manually rotating this to turn on the lamp as time passes this dial rotates automatically it will rotate in this way the moment our time comes it will turn on the lamp it will remain on till the time you programmed after completing the on time lamp will turn off automatically you just saw lamp turned off here again there is a program time for on condition on reaching here lamp will again turn on you just saw lamp turned on automatically it will again turn off so this dial rotates as per the time and accordingly this light will turn on or off automatically if you want to manually turn on this light then look closely to this switch besides timer rotate this once light will be turned on you can see our lamp is glowing if i rotate this again you will see lamp turns off on again rotating switch lamp turns on when i rotate again lamp turns off okay friends i hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share and comment on video if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video